New York Times headline, After Recession, More Young Adults Are Living on the Street. Dwayne Taylor, this is the new face of the homeless problem, my friends. Dwayne Taylor was studying the humanities in community college, living in his own place when he lost his job in a round of layoffs. Then he found and lost a second job, then a third. And now with what he calls lowered standards and a tenuous new position at a jack-in-the-box restaurant, Mr. Taylor, 24, does not make enough to rent an apartment or share one in Seattle. He sleeps on a mat in a homeless shelter, except when his sister lets him crash on her couch. At any time, I could lose my job, my security here at Jack in the Box, said Mr. Taylor, explaining how he was always the last hired and the first fired. I'd like to be able to support myself. That's my only goal. But, boy, it's just so hard. It's so hard. And the New York Times says here, across the country, tens of thousands of underemployed and jobless young people, many with college credits, many with work histories, many with college degrees, are struggling to house themselves in the wake of the recession, which has left workers between 18 and 24 with the highest unemployment rate of all adults. These young adults are the new face of a new homeless population, one that poverty experts and caseworkers say is growing, and yet the problem is mostly invisible. Most cities and states have not made special efforts to identify young adults who tend to shy away from ordinary shelters out of fear of being victimized by an older, chronically homeless population. The unemployment rate, the number of young adults who can't afford... Co- you realize we had a president re-elected in all this. That, as I read this story, how many of these people voted for him? That's what I can't get past. How many of these people probably voted for him, believing that their circumstance is all because of George W. Bush? Mr. Taylor, 24, the fast food worker in Seattle at Jack in the Box, said that he felt lucky when he could find a coveted space at Roots, a shelter for young adults, in a church basement. But such shelters are rare. For generations, services for the homeless were directed to two groups dependent children, and the elderly. There was scant attention focused on what experts now call transitional age youth, young adults whose needs are distinct. And then there's a story about another guy here named uh, Tano, T-A-N-O. Two months ago, he gave up an apartment in his native Dallas after losing his job. He sold his Toyota. He sought opportunities in the Pacific Northwest. He rented a room. He set out with his resume. You know what his resume expertise is? Fundraising. So he set out with that resume, but when his $2,000 in savings withered to nothing, he said, I ended up sleeping on the street. For the first time in my life, I just kind of had to walk around and try to stay warm. His career strength was fundraising. Asking people for money. He had $2,000 in savings, and now it's all gone. And now he's among the 18 to 24-year-old. Brand new problem. After the recession, more young adults living on the street. You believe it? A humanities major loses all these jobs. Now homeless, working at Jack in the Box. No doubt voted for Obama. Well, to say no doubt, likely voted for Obama likely blames Republicans for his problems, probably thought Romney was going to come steal whatever he had left. So he voted, probably, for the guy who's the architect of the problem. Meanwhile, unemployment's down. This administration is telling us job creation's happening. The unemployment rate is plummeting. There's just one shred of good news here, and that is that these homeless kids can still be on their parents' health insurance. But at the end of the day, I still don't know how this is possible, because I thought the recession had been over for three and a half years. The recession ended in 2009. The official calculation of the recession ended in 2009. And we've been growing uh, slowly, but our economy has been expanding since then. That's what they tell us.